welcome to another video tutorial. This time I'm going to talk to you about how to use lists and input, basic input, in your dual what will be a program from Python 3. So I have here two programs that I did some time ago regarding lists, but let's let's take a look at it. First, this one is called Calificaciones Lista. It's a list from the crates. So let me Maybe let's leave it like that. Calificaciones or grades equals, and I have two brackets. I open close brackets. This means it's a list named calificaciones that is empty. These brackets, it starts and then it continues, and any value that I put in the middle means it's been added. It's going to give me what it's my uh, the values saved in this. So I have as well reprobados or failed ones zero, standard or standard zero, buenos or good zero, excellent zero, excellent. So these are the amount of people that have this kind of grades. And what I'm doing is for x in range 0, 20. This means there are 19 students that I'm going to evaluate. Well, 20 students that start from 0 to 20 that I'm going to evaluate. And then here I have calificaciones, the name of my list, uh, dot append. What does this append mean? Append is used in lists to add values. So what I'm going to do is add in calificaciones the input oh, that the user gives me and, and when I ask for the input I'm going to display insert the calificación. I'm going to you know, ask the user uh, what's the new um, well, grade to be added. So I'm going to get Insert the calificación, and then I have conditions. If calificaciones, the name of the list, and if you see this time I have in the brackets an X. What does this X mean? That it's going to check for values inside of this, uh, well, a given value inside of calificaciones then check if it's smaller than 70 and in case it is then it's going to have the I'm going to get reprobados equal reprobados más uno plus one so <clears throat> I'm gonna do this for for reprobados and for standard for buenos and if you see here I have an else I have if and to elif and at last I have the else because if they are not failed while well, standard or good they are excellent just by deleting one letter just need to cut the other ones here is, is about version but remember that I need a parent uh, here parenthesis like this in order to print it I'm going to change this value from 20 to 5. I'm going to save it. And let me run it. Python, and the name is Kelly. Calificaciones. Lista.py. So insert the calificación. I'm going to give. So, so let's give 69. Um, okay, let me. Okay, here. Yeah, let me put int. Int input. And let's try. Uh, let's try it. See, I have sixty-nine. And I'm going to pin 70. Then what's the next one? 
Uh, let's type in 80. 90. And the head. So I have. From a. I have one minor is uh, 70. Uh, it will be less than 70. That's the reprobados. I have one. That is from 70 to 79. That's standard. Two from 80 to 94. I have an 80 and a 90. And one that it's 95. If you see right now, I'm just going to then cross referencing what is the values that I add in which range they are and saving them. And if you see, I, I'm going to make an emphasis here in the input. Here I got um, a mistake. You see, if calificaciones of X, uh, X or position X, smaller than 70, type of error, unorderable types, string smaller than int. What does this mean? When I only typed in input, the information that I gave the program is going to be just text, the string value. It's not going to be the number 69 that it's receiving, but the number six, the letters, oh, it's going to be only 6 and 9, 69, but not as a mathematical value, but just as a typed in information. And when I put it here int, it means that I'm going to get an integer, then the input is going to be converted to an integer. So that's why I didn't get the error message the second time. So, and we have here a different program. This one is called Promedio, list a while. I'm using a while to make an average. Let's give me a moment. Sorry. Okay, so in this program, I start with x equals 0. So, I did this because since I'm doing a while, I'm going to need for it to increase, but the initial value is 0. Resultado suma, or... Uh, some result is zero, the prom promedio or average is zero, numerous and uh, numbers equal, and here I have brackets and these are the numbers, the grades that I got, uh, or somebody got, 23, 45, 56, 78, and 23. If you see, they are divided by a comma. What does this happen? What does this do? Well, this comma is separating the different values of um, the list so that it doesn't get confused uh, here longitude uh, length equal length and parenthesis numerous what does this do the variable longitude is the length but it's just abbreviated to length of the list numbers numerous that's why it has in parentheses numerous. So, for example, if I, yeah, I put in here print longitude. Okay, let's save this and let me call it Python space media list while dot by. So printed the length longitude 5 23 1 45 2 56 3 78 4 and 23 again 5 okay so now I have I know that and what's my average 45 here I have it in if I continue while x is smaller than longitude and it's increasing by 1 entonces then I have resultado suma equals resultado suma it's uh it's adding it's accumulating the values plus numerous x this means that it's check it's making a cross reference of the number x place in my list and then it's going to add to check if the the value in the list is which number it's adding it to the resultado suma and then average is equal to resultado suma, the result of this of the addition, divided by the length, by longitude. And then it prints the promedio, the average. There is also, yeah, just let me remember, it was 
uh, sort you could you can order the numbers in the in the list sort numbers i think it's like this just let me check i'm not sure no no numbers punto sort numbers punto sort so like this sort means you get to check which is the information you are you want to know like you order just the values my sorry 23 45 56 78 23 correct so i put numerous punto sort and this i have here 23 23 45 56 and 78 it's, it's giving me what will be my uh, top numbers my numbers i'm sorry organized i also have minimum and maximum just like this let me print uh, min. i believe it was like this no Print min of numerals. So. Ah, like this, I believe it is. Yeah, there it is. Min numerals and print max of numerals. I have here my five the the length I have uh, I have my list organized 23 23 45 56 78 I also have my minimum value my minimum value is 23 it's the smallest one my max value that is 78 and I have my average using the information I got provided so this will be pretty much it I mean you can slice as well the lists just as a, you can slice a string, you can cut it, you can add numbers. But this is the the basic part that you need to know. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you a very nice day.